Bam, peeps. Welcome to Stock Science. Guys, let's take, take a look at the nonsense that's going on right now with cryptocurrencies. So, China, guys, we can all thank China for putting a stop to cryptocurrencies, guys. They just shut down. If you look at Ethereum, guys, Ethereum is currently crashing right now. It crashed this week overall almost 7%, guys. It went through a crash, a comeback, and now it's crashing again. And I'm seeing this as a buying opportunity, guys. But what is going on is this is pretty bad. Um, China just shut down over 10,000 miners in uh, in China. About 10,000 miners were shut down off Ethereum in the past 24 hours. So this is really, really bad. Another Ethereum mining pool shuts down because of China. The China crackdown. It's simple. China has banned fully cryptocurrencies. So at this point, I don't even know why people keep mining down in China. Uh, I think why China is doing this is because they're having a lack of, uh, they're having power issues in certain regions. And we all know that cryptocurrencies takes a bunch of uh, power to get created. So this is what's going on, guys. And I don't know how far this is going to go. And this is where I need some comments. This is where I need your opinion, guys. How far do you guys this is? Do you think this is gonna go? Is this a buying opportunity right now? I just dropped another couple hundred dollars on Ethereum today, and I'm thinking about buying some more Dogecoin too. Dogecoin is currently trading at 19 cents. I say under 20 cents, it's definitely a buying price. But it all comes down to how far is this going to crash? Potentially, Dogecoin, if it passes 19 cents and it drops below the 18 cents mark. It could go down to 16 cents. It could. And it could go, It could do this very, very quickly. Ethereum, if Ethereum doesn't hit support point right around here, right around 2800, it could drop much, much, much lower. And actually, let's take, an art, let's take a look at this article. Ethereum needs to bounce at support or else it could see a downward spiral. Absolutely. And I could see it go, it could go down to the low 2000s easily which would be a really awesome buying opportunity and what i'm thinking is do i put in more money now or do we wait it out to see if it's going to drop more that's kind of where i'm at what would you guys do that's kind of the ultimate question right now after breaking out the ascending triangle pattern i was unable to hold the 3000 level as support which we know that we know that it's not staying over 3000 but it did for a while it did for a while and then what's going on is it didn't it didn't hold the 3000 line of support because of china because this happened two days ago two days ago they shut down 10,000 miners that were mining ethereum so definitely made the ethereum crash and actually if you look at the past two days i think it held up pretty good i mean it spied back up ethereum's not going anywhere that's what i think long term you can't go wrong dogecoin you're taking it a little bit more of a gamble Ethereum, I really believe in it. I believe you can do so much stuff and it has brought so much to the cryptocurrency world, especially when you think about mem coins, tokens, NFTs. It's all possible because of Ethereum. Without Ethereum, it wouldn't be possible. So Ethereum not only not only is money, but it has more value than that. You can actually do stuff with it. When Bitcoin, any other uh, cryptocurrency, it's just money really. It's just money. That's not even considered money. But anyways, I pe I'm keeping this super short because I'm not sure what to do exactly. So I'd like to have your opinion, guys, down in the comments below. And the big question is, do we buy the dip now or wait it out? That's the big question. Do we buy the dip now or wait till it keeps dipping? Because I don't have an unlimited amount of money. I can't keep buying the dip at some point. I'm out of money. So what would you do? Wait it out? or start putting in more. I already did today a little bit because I really think that it's gonna bounce back up and eventually I'll have to wait if it keeps crashing. And if it goes lower, I'm not gonna put in, my plan so far is I'm not putting in more money until I see Dogecoin drop in under 19 cents or Ethereum. And I'm not buying anything else unless Bitcoin drops below 35,000 and then I'll be looking at it. If over 30,000, I'm not really interested in Bitcoins. But Ethereum, guys, I really believe in Ethereum, and actually, Ethereum is maybe the, the it's actually the one thing in stocks that I've always made money. Never lost a dollar on Ethereum, only made money, and actually, most of the money that I have profited was through Ethereum. So, I'm all about it. 
But if it drops, guys, if it hits that 2700, I think what I might do is wait till it hits 26. If it drops at 26, I'll dump, I might drop another thousand dollars on it. I don't know. But, anyways, put down in the comments what you guys would do. Hope you're doing good on your end. The markets are a little tough right now, kind of not doing that great, but we're hanging in there. We're hanging in there. You guys need to make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and I'm going to try to be a little more on it, guys. I'm out. Have an awesome day. Bye.